Hello, welcome to Maths with J. In this equation, we want to find the value of x. And the problem is that the x appears on both sides of the equation. So what we could do is subtract the 2x from both sides. So let's just write that out really clearly. So if we take 2x away from the left hand side, I'm writing it right next to the 10x to show that it's going to be taken away from that. And then if we take the 2x away from the right hand side, well instead of it being there, it won't be. We'll just have 3 because 2x, take away 2x, leaves no x. So then we can rewrite the left hand side as 8x minus 7 equals 3. So that's now a really simple equation. So we would just go on and solve this in the usual way. So adding 7 to both sides, we get that 8x is 3 plus 7. So 8x is equal to 10. And then to find x, we simply divide both sides by 8. So we can cancel that fraction down. So we could leave the answer as 5 over 4 or write it as one and a quarter, or write that as a decimal as 1.25. And we want to check this. So if we worked out the answer correctly, we should find out that um, 10 times our value of x minus seven comes out to exactly the same as two times our value of x plus three. So in other words, we're looking at the original equation and we're evaluating the left-hand side so the left hand side will be 10 times 1.25 minus 7. So that's 12.5 minus 7. So that's 5.5. So checking the other side, 2 times 1.25 plus 3 is 2.5 plus 3. And that does come out to be 5.5, so we know we have worked out the answer correctly. The answer to the equation is that x is 1.25.